I was uh, preparing to do the intramuscular and had drawn up um, a CC of some saline solution. And I had the area cleaned off on her arm and we're kind of laughing and giggling as students do their first time, we're nervous. And I hold her arm and I have, you know, my angle ready and the bevel up and I couldn't do it. I just could not do it and I laugh and she's like, come on. And I'm like, I can't do it. I just froze. So I didn't do it. Um, I think I think the next day I was able to do it. I was afraid I was going to hurt her, is what it was. So yeah, the first time actually I, I didn't actually succeed, but I did later. They always worry about that. The students worry about that. Is how am I going to remember which medicines are which? Because most the majority, 80% of the medication or more, are given intramuscularly. I am here to teach you how to do the deltoid IM or intramuscular parenteral. Parenteral is a, another medical term for injection. It's given at a 90 degree angle. Different sites that you can use your deltoid muscle, your dorsal gluteal, ventral gluteal, vastus lateris, but in this case, I'm going to demonstrate it on our deltoid muscle. You're gonna give tetanus injection, influenza, pneumonia. Just about all medication is given IM. Gauges that can be used in intramuscular would be 23 to 25. Length of the needles would be from 5 eighths to 3 inches, but in this case, we're going to go with a 1 inch. You would need your bandage, alcohol prep, your medication, in this case we're using sterile water, Emerson basins for your trash, your gauze or cotton balls, your gloves, whether they're latex or vinyl, figure out if your patient is allergic to latex gloves, and of course your sharps container nearby. Going to grab my alcohol prep, wipe the valve, grab my needle, make sure that the hub and the needle are screwed in correctly. 0 0.5 is what we're going to draw. Going to come up at eye level, inject your air. And one thing you need to remember is don't push it all the way in, especially if they're safety locked, because you'll lock your whole needle. And withdraw at eye level. So you're going to withdraw by pulling back on the plunger. 0 0.5. Remove any air bubbles. Withdraw. Use the one scoop method. So that way you can prevent any injuries from a needle stick. A lot will grab the cap and try to cap up here high and all it takes is one slip and you've poked yourself. If you scoop the cap on uh, while you're doing the syringe filling, that's okay before you give it to the patient. But after you give it to the patient, you never recap. Before you do your deltoid injection, which is the upper large muscle of the arm, as you can see the illustration, first you locate the acromion process, which is the ending of your shoulder. Okay, and you go down four fingers, open it up, and you're gonna give it right there. So if I can take my marker, okay, go down four fingers, and I wanna give it right here. And that should be the center of her deltoid muscle. I just put on my gloves. We're going to find her deltoid muscle, and we need the exact site. So can you lift up your arm for me, please? Thank you, ma'am. You want to go up to the top, 
and you can measure by using your pinky. Go to what we call the head of the humerus, which is your bone right here at the top. Right below it, her acromoid process, and then we have the deltoid muscle. Or you can use what we call, it's, it's a little trick, use your index fingers, and it creates what they call a Hershey kiss, and then you can bring these fingers together and you're actually at the same site that I need, which is her deltoid muscle. We want to cleanse the site. And how do we cleanse it? In a circular motion for everything. We are going to squeeze the muscle. And why do we squeeze the deltoid muscle? It's generally to create mass around the needle. Because if you just go straight in, the needle has a potential of scraping against the bone. And that's a big ouch. You're going to insert at a 90 degree angle like a dart. Remember, keep the squeeze, insert the needle at a 90 degree angle. So after we've inserted the needle, we're gonna aspirate. Aspiration is basically pulling back on the plunger of the syringe to ensure that you didn't hit a blood vessel. Inject, aspirate, make sure there's no blood in the hilt. Inject, withdraw. Massage and make sure you lock your needle, put it into the sharps. In an IM injection, you massage the muscle. You want to disperse that medication into the muscle tissue. Okay, Ms. Perez, you're all set. Thank you. Did after you've done all of these steps, make sure you document accordingly. Document the medication given, the expiration date, and which arm that you've actually given it into. Documentation is key. Remember, if it wasn't documented, it never happened.